Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another tutorial on ISTQB Specialist Automotive Tester Certification. We are in Chapter 3, Testing in Virtual Environments and continuing with the 3.2 Testing in Zill Test Environments. As a part of this, the next segment is 3.2.2 Software in the Loop, in short also known as SIL, that is SIL. So here, uh, if you remember, we discussed in the previous tutorial about uh, the mill and understood how exactly the mill works, that is uh, model in the loop, with help of the example of a hardware that is the actual plant which we created, and also the controller model, and uh, understood how exactly the model in loop works in order to control the controller logic. Now, once your model is verified, uh, that is mill in the previous step is successful, the next step is software in loop. Now, where you generate code only from the controller model and replace the controller block with this code. Then run the simulation with the controller block which would contain the C code and the plant which is still the software model similar to the previous one which we worked with the mill exactly. The step will give you an idea of the whether uh, your control logic uh, that is the controller model can be converted to the code and if it is hardware implementable or not. You should log the input output here and match where what you have achieved in the previous step. If you have experienced a huge difference in them, you may have to go back to mill and make necessary changes and then repeat the step one and two, which is just like you know going with the mill first and getting the desired outputs and then going to the step two, which is we are talking about right now. If you have a model which has been tested for SIL and the performance is acceptable, you can move forward to the next step. So here, next step, uh, we'll be definitely talking about the next level that is hill. But before that, of course, from the ISTQB point of view, uh, let's look at what exactly they have to say. Here, uh, we talk about the structure of a SIL test environment. Of course, the same thing what we were just trying to understand here from a better example and exposure. But here, if ISTQB, we have to look at the test item is compiled for a specific SIL test environment. This means the source code has been compiled with a software tool for a certain computer architecture. This machine code is readable by the test environment only as it consists of binary data sets. For the test environment to be able to access signals, a wrapper is necessary, of course. What is a wrapper is an additional software that creates a specific access interface for the machine code. Therefore, the tester can stimulate these software signals and observe them. The wrapper defines the access point to the test item but does not perform its actual task. For the simulation, uh, the, an environment model is needed. Just like you know, MIL, what we have created earlier, the test item is connected to the test environment with the help of the wrapper. The test execution is carried out on a computer without special hardware. The tester needs a software tool that is capable of creating a wrapper for the test item with access points to the test environment. So team, the important thing here to understand is that <clears throat> though you understand uh, how exactly the approach works, what exactly you need to do to set up a particular uh, SIL environment and what exactly we dragged from the previous uh, stages or previous uh, test environment that is MIL, uh, model in the loop. Uh, more important is like what exactly uh, ISTQB is looking for because we are here trying to understand the concept and at the same time also preparing for the certification. That's the most important part of this tutorial series that you need to stick to what uh, ISTQB is trying to convey you and at the same time if it is limited don't get into the detail of that. If it is detailed don't just stick yourself to the limited information. Further application areas and boundary conditions for a SIL test environment, which is again straightforward to just be remembered. If the developer generates source code based on a model, which is from the previous environment MIL, the real behavior of the software can be different to the expected behavior. This can be caused by the different data types in the model, mostly the floating pointers, and in the compiled software code, which is mostly fixed point, but also by different memory spaces. These abrasions in the expected behavior can be tested for the first time in the SIL test environment only. That means this is not possible to be captured during the mill environment. The tester can use techniques like back-to-back -back testing, which we will be covering in Chapter 4. So don't worry, we will be talking about what exactly back-to-back -back testing is uh, to compare the behavior. The tester runs the test analogous to the mill test environment in simulation time depending on the calculation technique and the complexity of the environment model. 
the simulation can be shorter or longer than a real time. And the tester can pause the execution at any time to execute detailed analysis and assessment. So anytime, if you see any kind of anomaly or you would like to have a deeper observation on what exactly happened while the citration was going on or this execution was uh, in progress, you may pause this because these executions are generally longer and of course you don't have enough time to wait for the entire executions to complete before you can start analyzing different part of it so you can definitely pause your execution and start uh, analyzing certain key areas or key observations before you continue further ahead functional interface and regression tests are very common test types that can be evaluated in a cell test environment on the other hand, the performance and reliability tests are unusual, which are not conducted during the cell. These software characteristics are most affected by the target hardware. So that's not area of concentration here when we are talking about the cell. But of course, we will be covering them in a later different environment to make sure that everything is up to the mark and have a good response coming up uh, when we are interacting with such kind of environment. So as a part of this tutorial, we covered the second test environment. Soon after the mill, we have now known what exactly SIL is. And the upcoming tutorial will be covering the third environment as per the syllabus that is HIL, hardware in the loop. So stay tuned for that. So that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, of course, feel free to comment below. I'll be there to answer them always. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.